All right, folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again with another update on this project for uh, my mom and I'm putting together and putting a little, little battery backup system. Uh, there's going to be no, no solar connected to it or no way to charge the batteries other than with a generator if, if needed. So this is just purely battery backup if uh, the power goes out our house again. Hopefully be to get it installed here in the, later this month. But uh, I want to show you an update on some other parts and pieces uh, that I've been gathering for this project. So I already showed a video on the um, the uh, inverter charger here that I got. Um, and then also showed a video on, on the batteries and on the generator transfer switch box that uh, I obtained. So I wanted to show you this cabinet that I bought. I'm going put, to put everything in and on this cabinet uh, that's going to be inside the house. The uh, generator transfer switch I showed you earlier is going to be sitting right next to the breaker box in the garage, which is not air conditioned. So I wanted the batteries and everything else in conditioned spots so it'll last longer. Um, so I wanted to show you this. Uh, I got this from Home Depot. It's just a simple, uh, it's all plastic. Uh, cabinet. I didn't want anything in here or very minimal things in, uh, in and around these batteries and for a charger that were combustible. So that's why I chose this. And uh, I think it's a HDX is the brand uh, utility cabinet. You can also stack these. So you can have you know one, another one on top of this one, and I think they'll support 130 pounds on, uh, on the floor, or you can wall mount them. They can support about. 40 pounds wall mounted so they're they're kind of flim a little bit flimsy compared to a wood but you know um it's going to work for this so uh that's what it looks like inside it and when you get it it, it comes in a comes in um sorry it's kind of a mess in here with all the stuff i'm getting yeah here's the here's the side of the box here so it's a two and a half feet wide 30 inches uh, about 18 inches uh, deep and three feet high. So it comes in the box like this and it's uh, you just unfold it and put it together. It's a uh, it kind of fun little project that you know it take took about maybe 15 minutes or so wasn't very bad. Anyway, um, so in here, I'd show you some other parts I've got. So I've, here's the BMS, another 100 amp, 12 volt BMS, similar to the one I got for my father-in-law's little sump pump battery backup system. This time, this one comes with some uh, some lugs though, which is nice. So that'll be handy. Uh, and the wire on this one is a seven gauge wire, which is very odd for the U.S., but uh, that's China for you. Uh, I got some bus bars. These are black and red, 3 8 uh, stud on these, since I'll have some 3 8 inch size um, lugs for the 4 out wire I'm using. Um, you know, this, this inverter charger requires 4 out wire, which works for me because I already had some. So uh, Here's the bus bars I didn't get to show you last time for the batteries. So they're uh, several layers thick of some thinner copper, if you can see that. There you go. Um, so there, there was a total of eight of these for the eight batteries. So you only need three of them to connect the batteries up for a 12 volt system. I think I'm going to use these also to connect uh, one of these lugs on the BMS, which is nice. Um, got a battery monitor. This is the non-Bluetooth version from Victron. I've got the Bluetooth version uh, in our house. Um, so, um, just comes in a box here. Nicely put together from Victron. Nice thick manual. So that's kind of funny. There, this course this manual I think has different languages in it maybe, but it's kind of funny this battery monitor manual is uh, like uh, three times as thick as the uh, inverter charger manual. Uh, I don't know. I found that kind of funny. 
anyway um, nice long cord here to go from your shunt to the uh, battery monitor here so let me get this out of the box no maybe yeah, this is uh, not easy so this is all it is um, pretty simple it comes with a little uh, plastic nut here in the back that you can use to secure it to a surface and uh, yeah I got, I got this non Bluetooth version because um, my mom's not gonna want to you know play around with it and whatnot like I said in the previous video and it was 50 or 60 bucks cheaper to get the non Bluetooth version so anyway I'm just gonna I'm gonna mount this on the outside of one of these doors here maybe kind of thing uh, this is a cable to sense uh, extra battery uh, uh, voltage if you want. Um, also in here there's a bevel or a bezel uh, if you want to mount it on uh, another wall and make it look a little nicer kind of thing. And the shunt was right here but I already took it out and I put it in another midnight solar disconnect DC disconnect box so there's the shunt that uh, the battery monitor came with and that cord plugs in right here that this uh, this gray cord plugs in right here and then on the back right there so so yes yeah, this, this is the, the other piece I didn't show you yet um, another midnight solar DC disconnect it's got another uh, 250 amp DC rated breaker. I think these are 150 volt rated. Um, got the same one downstairs on ours. So, and then what I'm going to do with this is <clears throat> a second here. This is the only piece that's going to be mounted on the outside. So I already punched a hole in it right here. Uh, one of the knockouts to it that's a two inch knockout it's kind of nice they got really quite a few big knockouts they got a two inch here a two inch here of course you don't have to make it two inch it can be i think it's a half inch right here and there's an inch and a half right here and then the outer ring is a two inch and they got two more over here so there's a total of four two inch knockouts which is nice and they got some other smaller ones there and on the top here, another one on the bottom there. And there's a spot for some breakers here. Usually the people use these uh, these slots for uh, your solar PV coming in or a wind turbine uh, power coming in, uh, breakers for those. And this also has a spot for some other breakers over here if you have some other DC loads or something. So anyway, this, is, uh, this piece is gonna mount, you can see these two bolts I have here already. It's going to mount right here on the side and I'll show you that to you in another video. And then uh, hopefully I'm gonna, I can send all four of the four out wires through here. It's going to be tight but uh, I'm going to see if I can do that so I don't have to cut any other holes in this side of this uh, cabinet. So anyway that's an update on uh, uh, some other parts and pieces of this uh, system. Um, oh yeah, also got some more 4 aught lugs with uh, 3-8 stud holes, and there's the other, yeah, I can't see it, I got, I got two BMSs, so I got two 100 amp BMSs, so I'm going to have a BMS for uh, both, uh, both of these 12 volt batteries, and then I'll parallel them together into these bus bars and then those will go come through here hopefully and connect up to the battery end of these terminals for this for positive this would be the negative and then this negative on the other side of the shunt and this positive will connect to the uh, inverter charger so uh, that's kind of the layout so far um, I'm going to Hold these uh, 
batteries together with uh, hose clamps from Home Depot. These are three to five inch hose clamps, two bucks each. So anyway, um, hope you like that. I'll be showing some more videos of the uh, progress here. I'm gonna try and put this together as much as I can before traveling to my mom. My mom's house is about a two hour drive from where we live at. So uh, I'd like to get everything put together and then all, all I gotta do when I get there is wire up all the uh, AC side components. So stay tuned, we'll talk to you later. Grace and peace be with you.